So today I'm just going to show you what I do with my zucchinis when I don't have time to make what I want to make. So typically I use a lot of zucchinis to make zucchini burgers. Um, last year, I think I made 180 burgers to put in the freezer and we're all out. And the other thing you can do with zucchinis is make zucchini bread, zucchini muffins, things like that. But since I don't have the time to go through all that preparation and making those things right now, um, I'm going to show you how I freeze it to make it easier to be able to use in the winter months when I actually have time to make those burgers. So um, the first step is, is we want to wash our zucchinis. Um, we do need to peel them and we do need to get all of the flesh and seeds and stuff out. We need to have a food processor, um, a knife. Uh, we're going to need a peeler for the zucchinis, a large bowl and a muffin tin. Okay, so now that we've got our zucchini peeled, um, we have all of the flesh taken out and the seeds. It is now time to put it in our food processor. And I'm just gonna cut them into smaller pieces and we don't want to puree them by any means, but we just want them uh, small pieces that we can use um, in our recipes. So this is essentially what we want it to look like, little shreds, I don't know if you can see them. It's not too watery. Now if we overfill them like this, it is just about almost the size of a cup, but it's a little bit smaller than a cup. So in our recipes, when they ask for, like in the zucchini burger recipe, they ask for nine cups of shredded zucchini. I know that I'm going to use nine to 10 of these frozen um, shredded zucchini. So it's an easy way um, if you, you know have a, you wanna make something quick, like zucchini burgers or zucchini muffins or zucchini bread, um, you just go out to your freezer. Um, you gotta let it thaw out. And then you just can place it in your recipe and it's there. There's no preparation of your zucchinis because you've already done it. Okay, so now that we have our zucchinis in our muffin tray. It is now time to um, put saran wrap on it. Or if you have a large, like extra large Ziploc bag that this would fit into, that would be perfect. Um, and then all you wanna do is you wanna leave it overnight to a 24 hours, let them freeze. Then they'll come out like looking literally like um, a muffin. And after that, what you wanna do is take them out of the muffin tins and put them in Ziploc bags. And you have, basically you have a cup. The way that I've done it is that I've put um, a lot of extra zucchini on top of the muffins so they're not flush with the pan. And that way I know that there's a little bit more, it's a little bit closer to having a cup there. It's a really easy way to put some zucchini in your freezer. And when you're going to go make something, it is really easy because you don't have all that prep work. So I just went out to the freezer and I got our shredded zucchini. I'll just show you what it looks like. Our big Ziploc bag here. So that is what the shredded zucchini looks like. And all I do is I get another Ziploc bag, shredded zucchini. Okay, so I just let it sit out for a little bit just to thaw just a slight bit so I can get these out. All you want to do is basically I just um, cuff these uh, muffin tins here and I give it a good twist and they come out looking like this. Isn't that quite cool? A little bit less than a cup, but you can make adjustments um, in your recipes where you need to or add a little bit more of this. And essentially, all I do 
is then I go ahead and I put it in the Ziploc bags and then put them back in the freezer until it's time to use them. I hope you enjoyed that video on how to easily store away some shredded zucchini in your freezer. Usually I try to work so hard and try and make my zucchini burgers, zucchini, anything, muffins, bread, all in the same time I'm trying to do all my canning. So this is a really great alternative just to put them aside for later use when I actually have time to do it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thanks for watching Plowman's Backyard.